This is the Trident Series 80B mixing console, which was released in 1983. Now this was a really popular mixing console and people especially loved the EQ on it. Now this is the very EQ you find on every channel of that mixing console, except that this one is in a 500 series format. And as you can see in the top right corner, just one of these EQs would set you back 499 euro. Now this is the TR EQ by Analog Obsession and it's based on that very EQ. But of course the big difference here is this one is free. So let's have an example of what it sounds like. I've got a drum loop set up here. I'm going to start with the EQ off. As I'm playing back I will of course kick in the EQ. Let's have a listen. So as you can hear, really sweet sound in EQ. Okay, so let's have a look at the plugin. So it's a basic four band EQ plus high pass filter. All four bands are capable of cut and boost by up to 15 dB. So starting with the high shelf, the turnover frequency for the high shelf can be switched between 8 kilohertz and 12 kilohertz. And it's done so with this button. And when the button is illuminated, it's set to 12K. Let's go down to the low shelf. Yet again, it's got two switchable turnover frequencies, 60 Hertz and 120 Hertz. Done so with this button. When the button is illuminated, it's set to 120 Hertz. We then have a high pass filter that's already preset to 50 Hertz, and this can be switched on and off with this button. So when it's illuminated, the high pass filter is on. We then have two mid bands. The low mid frequency band can be swept between 100 Hz and 1500 Hz. The high mid frequency band can be swept between 1K and 15K. Now something you may have noticed here is there is no Q control. Now if we look at these mid bands in Plugin Doctor, you can see they've got quite a wide Q factor quite a wide bandwidth. So what that tells you really is this is a sweetening EQ rather than a surgical EQ. Now other than that on the plugin we can turn over sampling on and off. We got an EQ on off button or bypass if you like and then finally right down at the bottom we have an output volume. Okay so let's put it through its paces. I'm going to be using of course the same drum loop. So let's play and let's start adjusting. So let's have a look at what I've done. So for the high end, I've gone to the high mid frequency, which of course is a bell EQ. I've gone for a lot of boost here. I'm nearly up to around 10 dB of boost. But still, all it does is it brightens up the sound and it's not getting too brittle or anything like that, which can happen with a lot of other EQs. I then went to my low mid. I've set the frequency selection to somewhere in the region of 500 Hertz. 
And I've done a really small cut here. This is a very wide bandwidth Bell EQ. So this little cut is just cutting down on some of the flab in it, if you like. And finally, to the lower shelf, I've set the turnover frequency for 60 hertz. And as you can see, I've gone for a good 7.5-8 dB of boost here. And this just really helps warm up the sound of the loop. So I've also tried this on guitars, keyboards and vocal, all to great effect. They all sounded great. So all in all, really nice EQ for absolutely free. And there you have it. As always, I will leave you a link in the description so that you can download it, try it out for yourself. And as always, thank you again for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. All that remains to say is, I'll see you in the next video.